How are you feeling? Hopefully more like yourself. I feel normal, which after everything I went through is strange. And there are still some things I don't fully understand. Sometimes to understand, we must look past what does not make sense and only take the world at its meaning. Who said that? I just did. I'm British, so everything I say sounds fancy. Anyway, glad to have you back. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Good to see you again, Mick. Sometimes I'm Mick, but other times I'm just known as mankind. And after what you've just gone through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you've experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls. But what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. Hell in a cell. The most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to Earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal mankind, you'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day.
What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. That's that? Wow. Glad I wasted my time talking to you. Fascinating. You again? You here to waste my time? Yep, me again. I want your help. I want to harness my brutality. I'm not some pathetic guidance counselor, but I'll help you help yourself. Bring some chaos. Somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand, then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Snap mail right. Surfboard stretch. Scouted. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? And no count outs means she has the ball outside to play with. Well placed kick. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. can't be happy absorbing the brunt of that one. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Hooked up. And she goes for the pin. That could have been it right there. Kendo stick impact. Oh, man. Boom. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Drop kick right to the patella. Laser focused on the knee and taking it out with precision. So some might call that showing off, but what a display. You might have thwart your abilities. Really just laying it in. She will wisely return to the ring now. 
Wow! Just never had a chance to block any of those. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Oh, and that might some time. Back kick. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Chelsea on the receiving end. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh, oh man. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Threat match. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So, we're associated now? Shut up. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Oh, wow. Lights out. Oh, my forearm smash. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. She's into the ring again. Perched up top. Look out below. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And right there, Shayna being shown that her competition is in lacking a fighter's mentality themselves. <laughs> oh, no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade. Get a big boot. Baszler being dismantled. Tough night so far for Shayna Baszler. DDT. What a double axe handle. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. She's going up. Top rope hit to the sky. What? It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. 
Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Caving in the abdomen. Up high. Oh, my. Apron same time. And now she finds herself only playing defense. And every attempt of her own offense is being subdued. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. Bad spot for the Queen of Spades. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Climbing to the top rope. Perched up top. I mean, knee drop. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made, when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. You people! Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and, like a trained monkey, entertain a WWE universe who may buy the shirts and cheer for their favorite superstars in the ring, but just don't get it. For you, this is a temporary distraction from your pathetic existences and your sad towns, but this is my life. I refuse to be the lapdog of some mark slurping a sugary drink in section 432. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. I'm done catering to the ungrateful WWE universe. And now, I'm gonna make it my mission to destroy the whole precious WWE machine you all blindly love. Because you... You deserve nothing. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for what we do for those ungrateful people, the WWE universe. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. Are you trying to get on my bad side? 
if you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. And there was some force on that move. Double axe handle smash. Look out! Somersault plancha! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. And the forward smash. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, perfect kick. And now there's an opening. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Things taking a turn for her now. She goes back inside the ropes. Manages to beat the count and get back in the ring. With no time to spare, really. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Uncorks another one. No respect being shown whatsoever with those perched up top. A diving knee drop. Oh. Flattened with a downward spiral. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Up into the torture rack. Oh! Lays eyes on Carly now. Cover! I'm still not sure what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the Cat. It looks like we're getting the repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I... Look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not. Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? And apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened?
I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure. You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way? Being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Why would I care? Sally, TBD, they're all ghosts. What I care about is the present. She does well in her match, or she doesn't. It's nothing to me. I see. You have made quite a transformation. Change your mind, just let me know. Don't hold your breath. Huh. Having second thoughts? No. Maybe. Just let me know if the kid's doing alright, okay? We don't need to make a big deal about it. A big deal about you caring about your protege? Former protege. Sally means nothing to me now. I'm just... I'm just curious how bad I messed her up. Right. I'll give you the full report. Psycho Sally still seems to be searching for herself out there. It takes a long time for the echo of betrayal to finally fade, Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Or else, one of these days, her opponent's gonna knock it right off. Swanton! Rolling into a monkey flip! It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. The run-in senton! Crushing impact. No doubt, Thea's having trouble here. Hale has to turn this around and quick. Oh, spiking DDT! Top now. From the top. Top and down. Uh oh. Oh, the knees. The knees caught him. Could be a turning point. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. No, oh, someone called a dentist. Oh, man. Incredible. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Rolling into a monkey flip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. And 
She stunned to the corner. Oh, saw it coming. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Able to elude it. Nasty kick to the face. That holds back Hale's attack. Uh-oh. Simple but effective DDT. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Setting up. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. Triple Sally gets the win. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. And this was a disappointing result for Thea Hale. Thea Hale still has a lot to learn in this industry, and this loss proves it. Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Ah, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe. But I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally, I just won a match by straight up cheating. Held my opponent's tights. One, two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the Caps and Rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. They are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that shared betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. Oh my God, what a move! Boom! Hooked up! She's tagged in. Just driven into the mat. Forearm. Ooh, bullseye. Uh-oh. Oh, spiking DDT. Ooh, a sharp kick. Escape just in time. Then here come the punches. Every strike more devastating than the last. And that failed to hit the mark. Ed Scissors takedown, extra apply. Running Swanton, awesome. Oh. I don't know what they're looking for here. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Oh, taking the fight near our announce table. 
I really hope we get beat. Disqualification. The old foreign object. Well, they always say cheaters never win and winners never get caught. Wow, that was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know, that felt freaking incredible! Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy, I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should... We should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why... That's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah! We attack the tag team champions, they're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure, we could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. I make no promises. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime inside of Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and... Uh-oh, way too cool. That's it, calling it by knockout. Guess you heard? Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep, worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality. Brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is. It's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No, no you don't. You feel like a bully, and that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But we got a title opportunity. And we are gonna go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Hell yeah. But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. So let's go win the tag team titles and prove it. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge to the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. 
But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're going to get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more than just antics, Corey. These two challengers have shown they're fully capable of making just as much noise fairly as they do outside the rules. <laughs> that will keep Dawn at bay. Uh-oh. Simple but effective DDT! Oh! Oh, close line! Match the champion into the cover! And the kick out. She still has a lot more in her. into the mat. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Fry quick to counter. What a counter. Boom, slam. With authority. Boom. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Oh. That will keep Dawn at bay. Oh my God, what a kick. Dawn in grave danger here. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Compromised position here. Lands. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Oh, ouch! And a drop kick. Picture perfect. She's going up. Top rope here. Decided to take a leap of faith and paid the price. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Ah, oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the air. Oh, the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. And Alba perhaps not the only one with a killer instinct in this one. Yeah, watching Carly climb and aggressively work the opposition. She manages to get control. Look at this series of forearms over and over again. much longer at this stage in the match. Now that was athletic. Oh, nasty flipping central. Oh! What an interception! Hit on a dragon screw leg whip. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Dawn's defense is being whittled down. Yeah, she's in desperate search for answers now. Moving into the cover of the title of the line. New champion, new champion. Almost ended it there. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Uh-oh. Up and... Oh, you face first. 
first. That was awesome. The title's in jeopardy here. God, I think the paradigm has shifted. Boom. With a championship on the line. Got it. And the tag titles change hands here tonight. Here are your winners. The team up. their case for one of the best teams around with that win. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo.